What's good, It's your boy G Kid back at it again with another video. Yo, what's good? What's really good? You're ready for college, right? You got your book bag, you're popping. That's all you need, right? Wrong, wrong, so wrong. All right, today I'm gonna be giving you five tips on how to survive your first year of college. Let's jump straight into it. Number one, get all your classes and due dates in a calendar. The calendar is gonna be so helpful for you, whether you use a planner, you use apps out there. Uh, I'll put a couple apps that I use, Google Calendars, uh, um, Apple Calendars, just throw it right on the calendars out there, or things, you can even set reminders for future dates so you know exactly when you got a due date coming up, when you got a test coming up, when you got finals week, you will know all those big key things that you need in order to have a successful first year in college. That's huge. Make sure you get all your due dates. You don't want to be the person messaging someone else going, hey, when was this due again? Or having to revert back to your syllabus every single time that you need to figure out when something's due. Number two, find a friend that you can count on who's going to be there for you. First year of college, very emotional year. First year away from parents usually for a long time first time there when you don't have anyone that you really know from back home or depending on where you go to college this is very big for you find that friend that you can count on you don't feel like they're ever gonna backstab you find that good friend that you can always trust and you can go to if you have something wrong happening and then be that friend for them as well you guys are both gonna need it you guys are gonna need someone to talk to be friends with help out be there for each other. When you're feeling upset, you talk to them, let them know how you're feeling, or they can be there to help you out in a bad situation. You never know. Make sure you get that good friend for you. That's a key for number two. Number three, don't always eat at the dining hall. Unless your parents paid for some meal plan for you or something of that nature, go to the store, buy this food, go home and make it yourself. So much cheaper, so, so, so much cheaper. The best thing that you can do for yourself is go through college spending the less money that you need to in order to get a really good education. If you go to some expensive college, right, and then you're spending money in the dining halls, you're blowing cash fast, you're balling, you're out of control, right? It's going to come back to bite you later on when those friends that you went to school with who didn't spend a lot of money like that or they lived in a really decent way when they went to college. They're buying houses way before you. They're living their life. They're enjoying the money that they're making from their new career. You want to be that person. Don't go spending crazy money in the dining hall because last thing you want to do is every single day while you're in college, spending $8 in the dining hall. And this could be from breakfast, lunch, dinner. That stuff adds up. Remember, buy the stuff at the store go home and make it. Doesn't matter if sometimes you go out and you go to the dining hall with some friends or you go eat out with some friends, but try to keep the food expenses as low as possible while you're in college. Number four. Now I touched on number four a little bit in a different video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna post it right up here. But number four is try to find something that's outside of your major that you enjoy. Now, Let's say for me, it was I was going to school for business. You know, I'm going to school for business finance. I found YouTube videos and videography and photography very, very fun for me. I love doing this stuff. If you can find something like this that you can touch on and use and have fun with, it makes that first year of college so much easier because you now have something else that if you're feeling stressed, or you got too much going on, once you complete that portion, you can go over, have a little bit of leisure time, having fun, enjoying what you're doing. For me, it was doing videos or photography, things like that help ease your mind and then it transitions your brain away from work, 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 school stuff to now is, okay, I enjoy this, let's have some fun doing it, let's, let's enjoy this moment that I have here and then I can go back to work, 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 back to leisure time again. So big, so key. The people who have done this while they're in college have such a great time. They enjoy college, they get a new skill from something else that they like to do. It adds a little bit to your character. When you go out, let's say you go to a party, right? You got 20 people there, they're talking all about business, right? 
Now, once you reach a business field, once you leave work, sometimes a lot, a lot of people want to talk about work once they leave it. Or if they do, we're talking about work, talking about work. Some people get bored, right? Somebody's going to ask you, hey, what do you like to do outside of work? Most people things are like, I like to play basketball or I enjoy going for walks in the park. You can be like, hey, I love making videos and taking photography. Okay, you may have once in a while get somebody who goes, wow, you take pictures, can I see some? And now you're showing pictures, you guys are having a different kind of conversation. You're having fun, right? You're enjoying this and it's a more intellectual type of conversation than you might get at a normal party where you're just drinking, having a great old time. Those are fun too, but those intellectual type of conversations are what really stands you apart from other people. And this can touch back on networking later on when people go, hey man, I knew this guy, he take photos, let me contact him. You know, hey, would you like to take photos of me and my girl at the park or something like that? And then they might turn into dollars for you and you weren't even thinking about money in the beginning, but now they're paying you to come and just take pictures of them. This is huge. Find what you like to do outside your field of interest. Enjoy it, have a good time, enjoy your life. You only get one. So have fun, enjoy the things. If you don't wanna find another hobby, you don't have to. This one is optional but it's really huge and it's really nice. Now, number five, this one is so huge. Start the year off at a high grade. So start off super strong. Now, if you start off super strong with high grades, it's easier to, I don't wanna say it, but slack off later on. But if you start the other way with slacking off in the beginning, it's a lot harder to try to climb up the ladder than it is to slowly step down the ladder if you understand what i'm saying so let's say you start the year off you go real ham you're going hard you're doing a's and everything tests quizzes anything that you get a's now let's say you start moving to like some b's finish it off with a c right throughout that year you might end the year off at a b b minus you know that's way better than trying to start off at like a d or f and work your way up to an A or A plus or even at B minus. It's hard, that is a very hard thing to do. Start off strong so that that way something comes up later in the semester, somebody gets sick, you can't get to all your homework or do it the way you wanna do it. You still have time to work on that grade and you have some, some leeway in there to work your way down a grade if you need to. This is huge, some things happen, family members get sick, that's huge. Make sure you leave room for yourself to have some mishaps in there throughout the year because as the year goes on, the content gets harder. So why not get high grades in the beginning when the content is very easy? Now that's a real tip for you guys. Anyways, it's your boy G Kid. I hope you love those five tips. I got a bonus for you real quick. I'm gonna start doing some videos. It's just some short two minute videos, throwing them up on the page. Haven't figured out what day I wanna put those up on but they might just be random in there, who knows, but I'm giving you a heads up that I might have some quick videos in there, focus on one topic, touch on it real quick, help you guys out, and just pinpoint little areas that you might be interested in. So stay tuned for those. Anyways, it's your boy G-Kid. Make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Peace.